This is Dr. Hustvet. Let's take the time to put together the kit together. I'm going to move slowly so that you have time to follow along with me. I have already taken the kit out of the plastic bag that it came in and uh, I'm going to show you the parts that are normally in the bag. There is the stack. Uh, I've actually already assembled the kit once so my stack isn't super tidy. You'll notice that there are two rubber bands on this stack. Do not remove these rubber bands yet. Simply take this stack and set it aside or better yet leave it in the plastic bag. It's irresistible to little animals for some reason so if you have a puppy leaving it in the bag will keep the puppy from wanting to chew on it. Besides this blue plastic notebook which is what you can put your entire finished kit into if you like there are also uh, several important parts so let's set this aside for now we'll put the completed kit into the notebook when we're all done. One of the very important parts of the kit is the master list. The master list is three pages on yellow cardstock, and this is basically our guide. Uh, all of the information starts on page two, and in a moment, I'll walk through these pages with you. But just for now, let's focus our attention on the remaining sheets. Now your sheets will look like this, blue, uh, except there should be spaces between these lines. This is the spare sheet that is uh, available at the Textile Fabric Consultant website uh, in case you make a mistake and need to print this out. Your sheets are on a nice cardstock. Mine here are just on uh, cheap paper, but uh, that's all right. I put together this kit many times and so uh, I won't mind uh, using the cheaper paper. My own kit was assembled years ago when I was young and uh, I actually uh, made a, a template and uh, typed the information and put each page of the kit through the printer so that it was uh, printed instead of handwritten. But I'll take my time and handwrite this kit with you so that you can follow along. Inside the bag that you got, uh, you would have also gotten a roll of tape. Uh, this tape is not the tape that I would recommend. I would recommend a stickier tape. Uh, double stick tar carpet tape is great. Uh, Scotch brand double stick tape is good. The other thing that comes in your kit is a pen. Please immediately throw that pen away. You should not be writing in your kit in pen ever, unless you're taking the time to carefully make a printed template of your kit. Anytime you make a little mistake with ink, uh, you'll end up regretting it and you'll have to print out a new page. So I strongly recommend that you just use a good old fashioned pencil with a nice eraser, like I'm going to use. All right, so before we get started with the, uh, putting the kit together, I'm going to take the very first, uh, do the very first steps, which are to in fact number every single page and uh, as long as I'm numbering it I'm also going to be using the information from the swatch kit to write down the fabric name as well. So here I am on the second page of the swatch kit and this is my chance to bring up a very important detail. Notice how it says C48 right at the top of the master list. Uh, the number should always begin with one uh, this just happens to recommend that uh, this example of a natural staple fiber, 100% cotton, is swatch number 48. Uh, remember, this is an index, not strictly a table of contents. And so if you were looking for cotton, you'd see it right there, and then you'd go to see which swatch it is. And, and in this case, it's swatch number 48. So in fact, I'm going to start right here with number one, which you can see is linen. Number two, handkerchief linen. Number three, handkerchief raming. You'll want to go ahead and get your own uh, pages out, your own pencil, and set the master list next to you as you work uh, so that you can follow along with me. So one, two, three, linen, Now 
Now in some cases you can't fit it all on one line and so it is alright just to write it in a small way on the next line. All right, so in fact, I'm finished with this side of this page. I've completed number one, two, and three. And now I'm gonna skip down to four, five, and six and put them on the back of the page. spelt correctly. Now I actually plan to go back through and talk with you about each of these swatches as we tape them down. So helping you out with things like how to pronounce file or how to pronounce tussa. So just for now go ahead and follow along with me writing down the names and numbers for each of the swatches. So now I've gotten this whole first page complete and I'm just going to set it aside and again Looking down on my kit for, uh, where's number seven? There's number seven, the suplex eight and nine. I'll go ahead and keep working on each side of the page. You notice I make my sevens in a little European way with a dash. Uh, you do not have to imitate my handwriting at all. In fact, I hope that you have nicer handwriting than I do. Okay, and so here's my first interesting moment. You'll notice that I'm looking on this side of the master list, the second side of the first page, I get to 10, and then uh, number 11 isn't anywhere on the rest of this page. We'll see there's number nine again, number nine and number five. They have extra things mentioned, but we're not working on the yarn line yet. We're still just working on the fabric name line. So I'm gonna have to move on to the next sheet in the master list to find number 11. Let's see, where is number 11? There it is, right there. 